Good morning, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Today, I am going to be doing a collective reading and energy update. So I'm going to start today by shuffling the traditional tarot cards deck. While I'm shuffling, if you would like to contribute your energy more strongly to the reading, which does allow me to channel more specifically for you and your situation, I do recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel as this does allow me to more easily pick up on your vibration and channel more specifically for you. Now, with that being said, do keep in mind that throughout these readings, I channel many different people, situations, energies, and connections, so always only take what resonates for you personally. Okay, so what does the collective need to know most at this time? Okay, so right away I have the Ten of Wands in the upright position and the King of Swords reversed. So this Ten of Wands is a very heavy, overburdened kind of energy. This also can represent someone who feels not only overwhelmed by their life or something in their life, but perhaps also feels like they are not being valued by someone around them or being taken for granted in some way. This King of Swords reversed energy represents a really wounded or unawakened masculine energy. I'm getting that... I could be speaking to someone here who has in the past had this King of Swords reversed energy in their life. This feels like someone who was very hesitant to take action towards you, may have left you feeling as though you were trying to manage a lot on your own without the assistance of this person. In fact, you may have even tried to take on some of the burden of responsibility that this person should have been managing themselves. I keep hearing that word managing or manager, so I'm not sure if someone is a manager in a workplace, but I am picking up that for some of you, this could be a relationship this very well could be a romantic situation in the past or the present where you felt really overburdened within this connection or by your own life while you were within this connection. I'm hearing things became too heavy to carry on your own. If you do resonate here as the divine feminine, then I'm picking up as well that this masculine may have kept you very much in a wounded feminine energy, meaning that when you were around them, it was really hard to be in your receptive energy because this masculine was very much in their taking energy. So trying to take a lot from you, not really in this awakened state of being. Now I have to say, here we have the Knight of Swords upright and also the Five of Wands here. So what I'm picking up is that something either changed very quickly within this connection or someone new came in very, very quickly. I don't know who I'm speaking to here. This is feeling really hyper-specific to someone here, and a lot of really heavy, intense cards are coming out here. So if this doesn't connect with you, don't worry, because I do feel that this particular message may just be for a certain group of people. But this Knight of Swords energy really speaks to, in some cases, a brand new masculine energy or a new opportunity may have come into your life, Divine Feminine. This person may have come in very, very quickly 
They may have shaken up your world very quickly. Now, if this wasn't a new masculine energy coming into your life, this may have been you balancing your internal divine masculine and divine feminine energy or beginning to make changes within yourself or your life very quickly that all of a sudden seem to wake you up to the truth of how you were feeling or how this person was treating you, realizing I'm hearing that you deserved to be reciprocated with in a balanced way, holding new standards and boundaries for yourself because of these sudden changes. Again, whether it was a new person that came in or just some kind of fresh new energy that came into your life possibly because you decided to start making these major changes. I'm hearing glow up to really glow up within yourself. Now with the five of wands, I feel that these very fast changes may have created conflict in this previously existing connection because whoever this was here, they were expecting you and the dynamic between the two of you to remain the same, but the transformation that you underwent or that new energy that came into your life actually pushed this person deep into their own wounding, that very same wounding that may have kept them in that King of Swords reversed energy and kept your joint dynamic lower vibrational in the past. I feel that with Page of Cups reversed, this conflict between the two of you, whether it was this person reacting against these changes you were making in your life, them feeling threatened, whatever was happening here actually has pushed them into this Page of Cups reversed energy into some kind of deep, this is really my childhood wounding card. So there could be some kind of inner child wound here that was triggered through these massive changes and transformations you made. I'm hearing that this masculine may have had their fear of abandonment deeply triggered where they may have been afraid because of these changes that you made in your life that perhaps things were going to change between the two of you or that you were going to leave them if this is a relationship or connection. Now I'm getting that really this was meant to push them into evaluating how they were treating you within this connection from that wounded state of being so that they could heal with the five of cups reversed so that they could truly shift into this next phase of their own soul's evolution and of their life. Because what I'm getting is the two of you are very much connected into some kind of soul contract now, this could range from a karmic contract to a soulmate contract to a twin flame contract. I will let you know if I'm getting any specific type of soul connection energy here later on in the reading, but whatever this soul contract is, I feel that part of the terms of your soul contract with this individual were that you were going to awaken each other. And then you were going to shift into this more awakened, healed state of being, a more balanced state of being. But what I feel happened here is you, Divine Feminine, were attempting to do that, whereas the masculine here was resisting the change. And this actually created a very lower vibrational dynamic in 3D between the two of you that may have led to you needing to separate entirely from this person, at least temporarily. It may have created some kind of separation or disconnect, but ultimately all of this was actually meant to push this masculine into that next phase of their soul's evolution, which was a greater state of healing and awakening. Ultimately, these changes, this upheaval that's happening is actually divinely orchestrated between you at a soul level. I'm hearing this is what we intended to trigger within each other because here we have the wheel of fortune in the upright position representing that this powerful time of change between you and especially in this masculine's life that's been triggered is actually ultimately part of your shared soul contract and 
ultimately is going to be a change for the better because it's opening the way for a major healing and positive transformation to take place within this masculine. I see this connection very much in a transitional state at this time. We have the hanged man in the upright position. And again, I feel that the masculine here actually resisted this inevitable transition, both in his own life into that next phase of his soul's evolution, but also within this connection, I feel like this is someone who most likely really fears or resists change in general. And yet, because of that new energy, that influx of energy that's come into either your life, divine feminine, through someone new or a new energy or a new opportunity entering your life, and from that new energy, the masculine here is actually being pushed into that inevitable transition that they may have been resisting in the past. So again, I feel that these messages may have been very specific to a certain group of people, but if this is connecting for you in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into what the masculine here is currently thinking and feeling in the 3D physical world, as well as what he desires to communicate to you, who I feel you will most likely connect as the divine feminine in this situation. I will also be channeling into potentially how this connection could move forward into the future because you are in that wheel of fortune chance kind of energy. So again, if the messages do resonate and you would like to join me in the extended reading, the link to that on Patreon is in the pinned comment and description box. Okay, so what other energies are connected to a divine feminine listening here at this time? Okay, here we have death reversed. We have nine of cups reversed and we have temperance in the upright position. Okay, so with the death reversed energy... It could be that some old pattern has resurfaced mentally, emotionally, or literally within your life. You may feel as though you're spinning in circles when it comes to something in your life, your work, your career, your relationships. I'm hearing the word frustration. So this may be very frustrating feeling as though you're kind of cycling through some of the same situations, the same issues again resurfacing. Here we, with that nine of cups reversed energy, yeah, someone here is really feeling discouraged, wondering if they're able to fulfill some kind of dream or goal, whether this is in your personal life or in a connection, feeling very stuck, feeling very much like they're spiraling, this person has most likely been in some kind of a chaotic or negative headspace mentally or emotionally recently. Whoever I'm speaking to here, yeah, we have the nine of swords. So whoever I'm speaking to may be really stressed out, feeling burnt out, maybe in some kind of state of anxiety at this time trying to move forward into this new phase of their life, but feeling a lot of these fears coming up. Wow, this is a really intense energy. I know intuitively this will not connect with everyone listening here. So please only take this if it does resonate with you. Wow, but for whoever I'm speaking to here, the very first energy oracle card to come out for you is the sun, representing that in spite of the fears, in spite of these anxieties that may be resurfacing, this new beginning is happening for you. It is aligning itself around you and in front of you, but this almost feels a little bit hidden from your conscious perception, meaning that you might be feeling whoever I'm speaking to here as though things are falling apart 
when really things are coming together. I'm hearing hold the course. We have blossoming abundance reversed. So you may be feeling the temptation to double back on some kind of intention, a goal, a dream, because things are feeling very chaotic or because you felt some of these stressors or anxieties coming up here. But I'm hearing someone's guides here say very strongly, don't give up on what you have intended or what you have decided for yourself. So if you set some kind of beautiful goal, dream, desire, or intention for yourself. And then recently you kind of felt this feeling as though maybe you wanted to double back or you wondered as though you wondered whether it was happening for you, whether it was possible, whether this was something you could accomplish. Know that whatever those energies are that have been coming up in the last few weeks, those feel very temporary and also What might be hidden from your conscious perception is that this is actually being orchestrated in front of you through whatever you may be experiencing as chaos or heaviness or confusion. I also have to say that for a divine feminine listening here, we have man holding a heart upright and also adjacent possibilities in the upright position. So it could be that some kind of new option is coming in for you romantically or if it's not romantic, there may be a new masculine entering your life in business or platonically that wants to give you some kind of new opportunity. I'm hearing that you've caught this person's attention. This does feel really specific, but for whoever I'm speaking to here, this feels like someone that might be part of your community or part of your routine, someone that seems to be aware of you or to know of you. So either you've interacted with this person before in the past in 3D, or this person has seen you or connected with you in some way. They could even have connected with you on social media. Although I'm feeling that for most of you, this is in person. Whoever I'm speaking to, this also could be a connection aligning that was disjointed in the past. So it may not necessarily be a brand new person. Always take this as it resonates. Can I get more information about this new opportunity with a masculine energy coming in here? King of cups. So this masculine is coming up as someone who is highly emotionally intelligent. I feel that Even if this person desires something romantic with you, they also would be willing to be in your life as a friend because they really value you and your presence, your energy. It's almost like this person just really wants to be in your life in a consistent way or wants to be in your energy. Now, it does seem with Page of Pentacles and the Two of Swords that you might be feeling a little bit stuck on a person or situation that wasn't balanced. If it's a person, this may be that one from the past that we channeled here that put you in a very wounded, divine, feminine sort of state of being where you couldn't be in your receptive energy around this person because they were, I keep hearing the word taker, like this person was a taker. They took your time, your energy, possibly even took finances or money from you. And yet they did this because they were in a very wounded state of being. And again, they are being pushed into a transformation, but I'm getting that as you might be dwelling on that person or situation or feeling kind of stuck, this new energy comes in again, this King of cups, this could be futuristic for someone listening here as well. This is someone who I'm hearing you feel very seen by this person. I keep seeing something about their eyes. So you may have a very powerful eye contact connection with them. I just keep hearing emotionally intelligent, emotionally connected. This is someone who is very in touch with their own emotions. They're capable also of clearly communicating how they feel about you or they will be very clear communicating how they feel about you if this is futuristic. I feel that this is someone you naturally feel a sense of trust with and a desire to be around. This is someone whose presence makes you feel at peace. I'm hearing the word sanctuary, like 
It's almost as though you are a sanctuary for each other because when you are around each other, you both feel very relaxed, very peaceful. It's almost like this person's presence and energy in your life creates this sacred container of sanctuary and peace that allows you to actually collect yourself, possibly regroup, introspect, and really prepare for this next phase of your life or figure out how you desire to move forward because I do see there being some decisions here with two of swords in the upright position. You may be feeling as though because this new opportunity or person has entered your life, depending on how it resonates, it's putting you at a point where you're almost at this crossroads, wanting or feeling the need to choose some kind of direction. I'm hearing divided loyalties. So you might be feeling torn between two jobs, two different ideas, two different things in your life. But for many of you, I am seeing this being romantic, feeling as though, almost as though your heart is divided here, but there's one energy that really supports you, stabilizes you, reciprocates with you with the 10 of cups upright, representing this powerful potential union. And there's another energy that brings a lot of tension and conflict into your life with the five of wands upright. However, if this is two different people, the confusing aspect here is I just, in my mind's eye, saw these two different timelines and it's almost as though the complicated thing here is if you are dealing with two different people, one of these masculines seems to provide that 10 of cups energy immediately, this stability, this support, this real time partnership, a balanced connection in 3D. Whereas the other one at this very moment in time on this timeline seems to be bringing conflict, tension, internal tension into your life because of their wounded state of being. But the very complicated thing here, again, for this isolated group I'm speaking to that is dealing with these two actual different people is that the one who brings that conflict into your life, there is this long-term potential reunion timeline that would potentially be harmonious in the future on that particular timeline but it's not something that you're seeing or receiving in the present. And so this is very challenging for one who is highly intuitive as you are, because you're sen sensing the long-term potential balance, potential partnership and stability with this masculine that you feel very deeply for, that you sense this soul contract with. But at this moment in time, there seems to be a lot of conflict or chaos or tension around that connection. Whereas on the other hand, you can sense that this new offer, this new energy or person or opportunity seems to bring a lot of immediate happiness, stability, peace, joy, bliss, and it's difficult to know which path to choose or where to go, whether to move towards what is bringing you stability in the 3D at present or whether to continue a more independent path while sort of holding out for this long-term potential reunion timeline with someone who is currently in a very wounded state of being. This is a very complex energetic dynamic. So whoever I'm speaking to here, you are most likely feeling very conflicted within yourself and your guides are kind of teasing you because they're saying that the reason you feel so conflicted is because you are extremely intuitive. So it's almost as though you're seeing through your third eye as much as your physical eyes, you're sensing intuitively out into the future as much as you're experiencing life in a conscious real time in the moment way. So when you sense a potential, beautiful, futuristic reunion timeline with someone, you will experience that as though it's 
almost accessible to you in the moment and make decisions based on that, even if at that moment it may not be what's best for your own physical 3D human self. I know that's such a complex message. I don't know who that's going to be for, but I hope that reached you if it's for you. Now, whoever I am channeling into here, I know because of the complexity here, there are more details going on. So in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into these two different masculine energies, whether it is two different people romantically or just two different options, situations in your life. So we will be channeling into each of these energies and any guidance potentially from someone's spirit guides here regarding how to move forward in this situation. So again, the link to those extended messages on Patreon is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Okay, so I'm really feeling guided to the Soul's Journey deck for some reason. So let's pull an emotion card here. Here we have peace and perseverance, but they're both in the reverse position. I'm hearing don't force yourself to hold on to anything that is disrupting your peace. I'm hearing your peace is your prize. Your peace is your number one priority because once you establish that state of inner peace within yourself, you now are stabilized vibrationally, energetically to be able to align with your highest vibrational available timeline, but also when you establish that state of inner peace, you are able to, in a sense, energetically hold the space for transformation within others. I'm hearing that if you are sacrificing your peace for a particular person, option, connection in your life, you are actually doing no good for either of you in this situation. It may feel from a 3D perspective as though you are sacrificing your peace in order to remain connected to someone to help them heal, but ironically, it seems to be the opposite. By sacrificing your peace for this person, you are keeping the both of you stuck in this lower vibrational cycle and pattern, and actually the way that you could potentially hold the space for that person's transformation in a positive way is by reestablishing that state of inner peace within yourself rather than sacrificing that for them in 3D. So I'm going to see if I can get any more messages from someone's guides here. What else does the divine feminine listening need to know? The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. We also have deep cellular healing, weight, and star family. All of these cards were reversed, telling me there's a very kind of subconscious hidden aspect to the messages that are going to come through. These may not be things that you are fully consciously aware of, but that might be a little bit hidden from your conscious perception at this time. But what I'm getting here, first of all, is that I keep hearing you're on some kind of very specific soul mission at this time, but again, you might not be fully consciously aware of exactly what that is. Whoever I'm speaking to, you have been planted where you are in time, space, reality in this moment, the physical geographical location, the social environment, the work environment, whatever it is for you. I'm hearing whatever you're feeling stuck in or whatever you're feeling as though I need to stay here and I don't know why, whether that is feeling stuck in a connection, a relationship, a situation, a point in time, know that you are exactly where you need to be to optimize your own soul's evolution, but also you have been placed specifically where you are because first of all, with Star Family, you're part of a team of souls. You seem to be on a mission spiritually that you aren't doing alone. Even if you may feel very alone at times, 
There are many other souls that are working with you spiritually. I'm hearing that have been planted in a very similar way for a similar purpose. You are not alone in whatever you are experiencing, but if you do feel alone in 3D, it's actually because I keep seeing like this group of souls that are then planted all over the world strategically to be that beacon of light in different various locations, places, communities within collective consciousness to have a greater impact. But the adverse effect of that for our human selves is that you might actually feel really isolated where you are. You might feel like no one around you really thinks like you or really understands you, but that's actually because you've been strategically planted in a place that may be very dark so that you can be the light, so that you can be an illuminator in that space. And there are many others like you who are on a similar path, a similar mission. Again, you aren't alone in this. I don't know who needed to hear that message, but I really hope it reached you. With deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing, and the card wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. Again, I feel that if you are at that kind of crossroads or you're feeling very stuck in something, in that what your mind is perceiving as stuckness, there is actually a powerful spiritual shift taking place unconsciously and automatically deep within you that is elevating you to a higher timeline from which the next steps will actually align effortlessly in front of you. I'm hearing there's nothing to force yourself to do or push yourself to choose or decide. There's only an allowing of the shift that's taking place with Within you to elevate you to a higher timeline from which vantage point everything will align in front of you effortlessly. So that feels like a really powerful message to close the reading. I am going to be pulling one final Rumi Oracle card before we head over to the extended Patreon reading. I will, in that extended reading, also be channeling any further guidance messages from your spirit guides, your higher self, whatever divine forces you personally connect with, as well as all of the information that we touched on earlier. So if you are feeling guided to the extended Patreon reading, the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box. Now, I am going to be just pulling one final card here. And this card is Sacred Soul Sister. So let's just read a little bit of a guidebook message here. And the guidebook says, When you are conscious, a cloud of sadness surrounds you. When you are beyond consciousness, the moon rests in your arms. When you are conscious, the beloved moves out of your reach. When you are beyond consciousness, the ecstasy of love moves your way. When you are conscious, you are depressed like fall. When you are beyond consciousness, the winter feels cold like spring. All your wavering is due to your longing to be stable. Look for instability until you become stable. And the guidebook also says, there is a valid point of view that we travel this path of our life journey alone. Our deepest descents into the psyche happen alone. We meet death alone and come into the world alone. And yet there is a vaster perspective that we are never alone, that it would be impossible to really be alone. We are connected to all of life and there is no such thing as being alone in reality, only in limited and temporary perception. This oracle comes with particular guidance. You know something deep in your bones without knowing how or why or without particular reason. You just know. It doesn't make sense, but you know. It may be the joy that you know. It may be that you know to avoid a certain situation. It may be that something is going to work out beautifully despite appearances to the contrary at a particular moment. It may be that you are meant to take a certain path. You just know. This oracle comes as confirmation that you're knowing, mysterious as it is. 
is your sacred soul sister talking through you. Trust it and act accordingly. So that feels like a perfect place to close the reading. If you would like to join me now over on Patreon in the extended reading, the link to that is under the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today, wishing you a beautiful day, and I will connect with you here again in Friday's reading.